the game. If you want to win a race, you got to out hustle the competition. Lori Lightfoot gets it. That's why she's tried to offer school kids extra credit to campaign for. Her. Voter outreach is that important. It's so critical even prisoners are getting pressured to vote. A bombshell report in the Daily Mail claims that prison guards in Chicago's Cook County Jail are doing their best to get out the vote by attempting to illegally register non-resident inmates to take part in tomorrow's mayoral election and mail in their ballots. I'm telling you it's about ballot production. Reporter William J. Kelly spoke to one of these alleged whistleblower inmates. Watch this. Have any of the jail guards asked you about voting in the mayoral election? <laughs> what do they say to you? Uh, do you want to vote? You want to sign up for vote? Because they have a sheet, they have a paper. They have a whole listing of everybody in there and say, like, I voted the sheet, the names. Who's registered to vote and who's not? So they have a list of who's registered to vote. Yep, and who's not? And, and my name is on the list that I'm not registered to vote. So what did they say to you? They said to me, you know, do you want to vote? And I said, no, thank you. No, really. Yeah, I could, you can sign up right now. Do you want to vote? I said, no, I'm registered in another jurisdiction. I don't want to vote. Well, you can vote in the mayoral election. I said, I'm registered in another jurisdiction. I can't vote. That, that would be a federal felony. And uh, then they would back off. And then another time they asked me, you know, do you want to vote? Do you want to vote? And I'm like, no. And he was like, at that time, is the only one in here who's not uh, registered to vote? I said, that's fine. I said, I don't want to vote. He goes, you sure? He says, I've only got two slots left open. He says, and, you know, you're one of them. He says, do you want to vote? And I said, no, thank you. And then this last time, same thing. And I said, excuse me, I said, but do you ask people first if they're registered to vote also? He goes, no. I said, but you should. I said, because if I'm registered to vote someplace else, like I am, I said, you asking me and enticing me to vote, even though I'm registered someplace else, I said, it's a felony. I said, I can't be voting in two different jurisdictions. I'm not well, I'm registered in a different one. And they're doing this with all the inmates at the jail. It is vote harvesting. Absolute vote harvesting. Chicago reporter William J. Kelly joins me now. So, William, were you surprised that a jail inmate has more integrity than the Chicago? We are affiliated with a 501c3 called We Are the 51%. This is based off of all the good people in the world giving extra effort to have a better way of life. You can donate, sponsor, or even make a tax-deductible payment to help these children to get food so no child goes to sleep hungry. How you can help is to go to our website, matt55.com. You go to the bottom right-hand corner of the video, then click the button that says Retail Customers. You can choose either option, the $5 or the $40 donation options. Either click the Add button below the dollar amount of which one that you choose. Then the next page, choose the quantity of the donation amount. For example, if you'd like to donate $1,000, then you can change the quantity amount to 200. Then click the checkout button in the bottom right hand corner. And then on the next page, enter your credit card information, name and address. We will send you out a receipt for the amount so you can write this off as a donation on your taxes or also on your business taxes. Remember, our main goal is $1 million to help sponsor 20,000 children. 1 million people in the world will lose their life due to starvation due to the famine that has already begun by 2025. In case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> yeah.